quick hello. My name is Noria Luna, and I'm a PTCU instructor, and I teach Creo courses. Uh, a great use case for multibody is when we are bringing in a CAD file into Creo from another CAD environment. When we do this, it comes in as a featureless model. In order to modify an object that is featureless, we can use multibody to split the object into modifiable selectable objects. Let me walk you through one of the exercises in the Creo multibody design. And so this is the design. So this is a, a simple component, right? But the idea is that it may have been imported from another CAD software. And the reason I know that is because if I take a look at the model tree, essentially there are no features. So typically there's something else that I can edit here, but there's nothing that's geometry related. Uh, so the question here is how can I edit this uneditable featureless component, right? And so the, the answer to that is a multi-body. Uh, I can break this component into pieces and then make changes to it. Uh, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to design items, right now this is body one. So it's treated as one component. Uh, so rather than one body, I'm, I'm going to split it actually into two. So split, and I'm going to select this uh, this object, and I have to select a splitting object. So maybe this datum plane here. Uh, and so now this one object becomes two. And so I'm going to hit OK. Uh, but maybe I, I want to further split it to maybe uh, grab something of this component. So I'm going to do another split. Uh, so split body one more time. And this time, uh, this is my newest object. I'm going to select it. And here, my splitting object is going to be a different datum plane. So maybe this one here. OK, so what did I do there? So I, now I have three bodies where I used to only have one. So let me hit OK. This body one is my newest um, selectable object on its own. So now that I can hold on to it, I can make changes to it. Uh, so for example, what I can do is go to the flexible modeling tab. And let me uh, hide this here. Uh, but now I can apply a move operation under flexible modeling. And so here the question is, okay, what do I want to move surfaces? Not really. I want to move objects because my objects are bodies. So I'm going to select this as my object. Right now I need to move it. There's that little globe here that comes up and I want to change uh, where it's actually located. So I would go here to steps and let me change the origin. And essentially I want to select something else. So let me try uh, an axis. So here I'm going to select this as my axis. And all you're going to see is that the globe is going to move to where the axis is at. So let me place it here. And so now what I can do is I can rotate this where I could not modify it before. I'm going to change this value to a clean and solid 15. And I'm going to hit OK. And so this is my my modified object. Clearly, of course, you'll notice that I create issues. But this is actually fixable because, well, uh, even though this, these surfaces are no longer attached, I can attach them uh, once again using multi-body, right? So in this case, let me go back to the model tab and I want to not split my bodies, but rather uh, merge my bodies. Okay. So I can do that by going to Boolean operations and here, this is going to be a merge operation and I'm just going to take one body and merge it to another body. So now they become one selectable object once again. And this object, I can actually manipulate it and have the surfaces uh, converge. OK, so that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, really converge the surfaces that have been split there. So let me hit OK. And so now, once again, I would go to flexible modeling. And then let me select the many surfaces I want to uh, remove. So this is a what we call a remove operation. So just selecting various surfaces and everything is just going to like stitch back up together. Uh, that's really the uh, the implication here. So everything that's cracked, as we see there, now I can apply remove. And then the system puts it back together for me. I'm going to hit OK. And now here I have a, well, you know, finalized, you know, features, you know, that we created. Uh, again, having been able to modify an object that was not able to be modified. To learn more about how you get started with Creo and Multibody, uh, please join me in my classroom.